we're glad you're here. Thank you for coming. You are surrounded, not by our crack security staff, you are surrounded tonight by the products of joy and sorrow. Pain and passion, curiosity and enlightenment, grief and release. These are the voices used by the choirs of muses that sing in the ears of the artists whose work is represented here tonight. You are surrounded. And we hope that before the night is over, you'll be captured in some lasting interactive moment that draws you to claim a piece or two of your own and take it home. This is, after all, a fundraiser. Some of you have noticed that the name of our event has changed from previous years. Arts for the Mind has become Arts for the Mind as we deliberately remind ourselves to reach even further as we go along. Art is that which inspires an emotion or intellectual response. It may be on a pigment, it may be pigment on canvas, it might be stone or clay, but as you'll experience tonight, art is often heard and even tasted. To our patrons we say thank you. We recognize that your gifts to us have been limitless and continuous. We also recognize that your participation here is optional and deliberate, and we are humbled and honored by your support. We welcome nearly 80 artists to this year's event, most of whom are here tonight ready, if not eager, to talk with you about their work. So please don't be shy about approaching the artists who are wearing name tags, kind of like mine, and asking them about their work. Comment, question, and for heaven's sake, praise them as well. We're here tonight to celebrate the artists. I'm David Jewell. It's been my pleasure to serve as chair of this year's event. And in my, having said that, in order to maintain any integrity whatsoever, I should loudly confess that those with whom I have served on this year's Arts for the Mind Committee have made my chairmanship largely an honorary role. Many have contributed more than I to this weekend's success, each at least as much. And I won't name them because, frankly, some prefer to remain nameless. And besides that, I'd likely miss a name or two and embarrass myself by not recognizing someone who deserves huge recognition. You'll recognize them tonight. They'll be the ones who look exhausted and proud. As we all know, there have been some changes at Stanley Clark School over the last few months. I don't mind telling you that losing Mary Beth Burke caused me to shake in my boots a little, having already accepted a leadership role in this year's event. I need not have worried. The school made a great choice in filling Mary Beth's shoes, and since her feet hit the ground, she's been running. One person more than any other is responsible for the success of this weekend's program. She dotted every I, crossed every T, she did things she had never done before, and she did them all extraordinarily well. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Christina Buck. This has been a much different experience as Mary Beth's replacement than it was as the chairwoman last year. I want to thank everybody that helped make this a success. I'm going to tell you it wasn't just me. The faculty, the staff, the executive board, um, everybody helped make this a success. And I'm so proud to introduce the act this year, we had Bobby Yang last year, this year we have Corky Siegel Chamber Blues, and I'm extremely excited about this band. Thank you so much. Thank you, Christine.